So, welcome to another video. Now, in this video, firstly, I need to apologise for the echo of my voice, but I've just moved into a new room and it's not fully furnished. That will get better. What I'm going to show you in this video is how to customise your own map locations. So, if you've got the map mod, you can see it starts with these two locations here, okay? So, we've got Loot Statue and Bohemian Interactive. Now, if you look on the map itself, you can see they're over there. And what we're going to do is we're going to customise them and turn them into our two trailers. Now, as you can see, we're at Green Mountain at the minute. I'm right at the top of the tower, just because I fancy playing about. But what we're going to do is we're going to add, we're going to change both of them to show the two traders. Now, the first trader for anybody that's got the trader mod is going to be here. That's going to be at Green Mountain itself. The second trader will be placed here, okay? So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come out the game and I'm going to show you then how to place them. But firstly, what you're going to need is you are going to need these coordinates, okay? So as you can see in the bottom right, here, okay, you have coordinates. We are going to need these coordinates. We need 8351 slash 5989 for Kami. And then for Green Mountain, we are going to use three seven two zero five nine eight two so they're the coordinates we're going to use if you wanted to place another one now at the moment we're only going to change the two that are in the game okay but you get the gist if you wanted to place another one to so say you wanted to place one at vmc you would just need to pick the spot where you need where you want to place it say we're going to go bang in the middle and then we would do the four five two six eight three zero four but that's, that's what you're going to need. You're going to need these coordinates here, okay? So once you've got the coordinates, what you're going to need, uh, we are going to change these first then to the two traders, and I'll show you about how to add extra ones as well. So now we need to come out the game. So after you've got your actual coordinates and you know where you want to set your locations, you're going to go to your server. Now I'm running off Ping Perfect. The link for this, a link if you want to get a server like this and follow some of these tutorials is, in, in, is going to be down below. But what I do then is I click on File Manager, you're then going to click on Profiles. Okay, so once Profiles is loaded up, I mean, it depends on what mods you have. I've got a few mods and I've got some of this customised already, so I do have some of these. What we're going to do is we need to go to the very last screen. When I say last screen, I mean last page, my bad. Now you've got um, VPP Map Config. Now we're going to click edit. All right, so these are what we've actually got. So we've got the Bohemian Interactive one and we've got the Loot Stash. So we're going to change both of these now for Kami and for the Green Mountain Traders. So you can pretty much rename these whatever you want. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rename this. So that's Green Mountain Trader. And this one then is going to be Kami Trader. So we've got our names. What we need to do now is we need to input the coordinates for this to appear. So as you can see here, you've got 7500, 7500. So that's the coordinates that we had on the old one. So what we need to put into there is 3720. And then into the bottom one. 5982 obviously deleting that part and then we're going to put the other trader coordinates in as well which was 8351 and then 5989 then we're just going to press save so when we go and check our game in a minute, okay, you will see now them coordinates would have moved and obviously they, they are going to be um, at the place for the traders so the player can easily find the traders. If you wanted to add another one, so say you wanted to either split your traders or you wanted to put your own custom locations on the map, what you need to do is you need to copy. All right, so to do a new one, what I would do is copy from there, from that open bracket, and you need to copy it to that closed bracket there, okay? Once you've copied that, paste it below. And then you would just change the name and obviously the position that you want. If you then wanted to change the colour for the traders, 
you would need to change these numbers here, okay? So say for argument's sake, you wanted to put custom ATM locations in, which I've done on a previous server, and you wanted them in, in, a, in, a, in a specific color, you would just need to change that color coordinate numbers there, and then that would change, but you can obviously then have as, have as many markers on this map as you can. So to get this to work, then we're gonna press save again. We're gonna come out, restart your server, Obviously, wait a little bit for this to kick in, and then we can open up our Daisy launcher, and we're going to check to see if this has worked for us. So as we just loading in, or waiting to load in, if any of you actually want to play on this server, obviously it's going to be called The Last Stand by Cranky Chris. Uh, it's going to be a PvE server at the moment. That may change, but at the moment it's going to be pretty much for beginners or people learning the game. But if you want to come and just build bases, check out the new toxic zones, etc., uh, feel free and more than welcome to. You'll be able to find the server on the Daisy launcher. I just realised we left the character right on the top of the of the tower of the Green Mountain Tower. I wonder if he's going to spawn in there. I've never tried that before. Be interesting to find out. I'll, I'll spawn in and I'll be dead now because it'll, he'd have fallen to his death. But we can always respawn back. We've got the admin tools on at the moment. That's not going to be a problem. All right, so we actually spawned exactly where we left it. I wasn't expecting that, but as you can see already, because I've looked down and you can see the Green Mountain trailer is on the mark. It's 142 meters below us because we're 142 meters in the air. And you can see that we've also got Camarada Trader up as well. So it is as simple as that. If you would press M now, obviously these two have changed up here. They were uh, Bohemian Interactive or whatever they were, Loot Stash, but they've now changed to Green Mountain Traders. So we've got both traders. I can just delete that marker. I can delete that as well, actually. Anyway, so that you can see clearly that has worked fine and they have appeared on your map. So if a player now presses M on the map, they're going to see straight away where these two traders are. As you can see, we've got the right in white and white up here. Like again, if you had changed the color for that, they would have appeared here in different colors. And it is pretty much as simple as that. So thanks for watching, just a quick video, like I said, just to show you how to, how to customise, I was doing it myself anyway and I thought why not make a video because, you know, some people don't know how to do it and if you didn't, now you do. So guys, thanks for watching, I've got more content on the way um, and we'll catch you later, cheers.